Let me read the question again. Renault cycled from town R at an average speed of 72 km per hour and took 3 hours 30 minutes to reach town S Kefa. Cy town S. Kefa cycled the same distance and took 4 hours. At what average speed was Kefa cycling? Now, notice Rono. Rono's speed was 72 km per hour. His time was three and a half hours. Let's convert the 30 minutes to hours because we're dealing with kilometer per hour. Now, remember your speed is equal to what? Distance over time. So let us get the distance covered by Rono because Kefa covered the same distance. So our distance is speed times time, which is going to be 72 times three and a half. And you know that three and a half in, in improper fraction is going to be um, that's two times three, six, seven over two. That's times seven over two. Two years, one, two in 72 is going to give us 36. So when we multiply 36 by seven, seven times six is two, carry four, seven times three is 21 plus four, that's 252. This is going to give us a 252 um, kilometers, okay? So to get Kefa, so to get Kefa speed, for Kefa speed, is going to be distance over time. Now, this is going to be 252, and he cycled for 4 hours. So 4 into 25, it's um, 4 can divide 24, that's 6, and then that 1, so that will be, and 4 into 12, it's going to be 3. So this is going to give us uh, 63 kilometer per hour. Okay, so the correct answer here is C. Okay, so the next question is going to be question 16, which says the figure below represents a piece of land. Um, what is the area of the piece of land? And the first thing you need to do is demarcate this to your land because it's made up of a rectangle and a triangle. So we're going to find the area of um, the rectangle first. Let's bring up our rectangle. Now remember, year to year, it's a uh, 40 and the width, it's a uh, 90. And you know that for your rectangle, it's length times width, width, which is 40 times 90. And that will give us 3600 uh, meter square, meter square. Then we'll bring out our triangle. Okay, now notice from here to here, from here to here is 40, from here to here is 90. So to get from here to this place is going to be, uh, this place is going to be 90 minus 40, which will give us 50. So the base here is 50, okay? Now, same thing applies. From here to here, the height here is 70, the height here is 40. To get from here to here is going to be, is going to be, um, 70 you have to perform 70 minus 40 and that will give us 30 okay so this place is 30 so now for our triangle we're going to do half times base times height which is going to be half times 50 times 30 so 2 here is going to be 1 2 in 50 is going to give us 25 25 times 30 is going to be um that's um 750. So if we sum up our areas, this is 750 meters squared. So when we sum up the two areas, we get the area of the um, figure. That's um, 750 plus 3600. So we're summing this up to get our final answer. This is 0, this is 5. 7 plus 6 is going to give us um, 3. You carry your 1, and that's um, 4. So it's going to be 4,350 meters square. So our final answer here is going to be B. Okay? Now take us to question number 17. It says, Muga left town P on Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. It took 7 hours, 50 minutes to reach town Q. On what day and time in 24 hours clock system did he reach town Q? Remember in 24 hours system clock, when you count 12 
um, you start counting, um, if it's in the night, 12 becomes 0, 0, 0. Then you start counting again, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and like that. Okay, so if Muga left town P in the night, 8.30 p.m. in the night, he took 7 hours, 15 minutes to reach town Q. So we are going to add, um, you know, um, at night, 8 is going to be um, 8, 13, 13 is 1, 14 is 2, 15 is 3, um, 16 is 4, 17 is 5, 18 is 6, 19 is 7, and 20 is 8. So this is um, the same thing as 20, 30. So we are going to add 7 hours, 20, 30. We are going to add this. So this is 8.30 p.m. So we're going to add 7 hours, 15 minutes to this. So 30 minutes plus 15 minutes is going to give us um, that 80 minutes. And remember in 80 minutes, we have, this is the same thing as 60 minutes. That's 1 hour plus 20 minutes. Okay? So now we're going to write the 20 minutes and carry the 60 minutes, which is 1 hour. So because 80 minutes, it's 1 hour, 20 minutes. Okay, so 1 plus 7 is going to give us, um, it's this 21 plus 7. And 21 plus 7, 21 plus 7 is going to give us 28. And you know that in 28, you must have gotten to 24, then, before you get to 28. So, once you have 28, instead of writing 28, because we don't have a 28 clock system, 24 is 0, 0. Then it will be, it will not write down the 4. But note that it is the next day. It's 420. So if he left on Wednesday, this is on 24 hour on Thursday. Thursday. So this is our final answer. So that is the correct answer, which is um, A. A is our correct answer because it's going to arrive on Thursday. Okay. As it says a cylindrical container of diameter has a height of 35 cm. What is the volume of the container in cubic centimeter? Now, the first thing you need to do in this type of question, you need to understand that um, the cylindrical container is a, is a cylinder. So this is our cylinder. So you need to know the volume for cylinder. The volume is given as um, pi r squared h. And you know, what your pi is. So we've been given our height as 35 cm and we've been given diameter to be 8 cm. So from the diameter, we can get the radius. You know that radius is equal to diameter over 2. Now this is 8 over 2, that's 4 cm. So we can now apply our formula. This is um, pi is 22 over 7 times um, our radius. It's um, 4 squared as 4 times 4. Um, times our height, which is um, 35 cm. So 7 here is 1, 7 into 35 is going to give us 5. So this is the same thing as 22 times 4 times 4. Okay, let's do 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 4, that's 20 times 4 is going to be um, 80. So this is 22 times 80. So how do we get our 22 times 8? 8 times 2 is going to be 6. 6 carry 1. 8 times 2 is 16. Then plus 1, that's 17. So this is um, 22 times 8 is 1760. So our final answer will be cm cube. So this is our final answer. That's our volume. So the correct answer here, it's um, A. Okay? So question 20 says... The figure below represents a flower garden in the shape of a triangle and a semicircle. What is the area of the, the garden? Now, to get the area of garden, it's going to be area of semicircle plus area of triangle. So, now, area of a circle, area of circle is given as pi r squared. 
Therefore, area of semicircle is going to be half of it. That's pi r squared divided by 2. Now, you know that the area of a triangle is half base times height. Okay? Now, there is an issue with this question. We were not given the diameter, this place, this length. So we need to find it. And if here is a right angle triangle, then we can use our Pythagoras theorem to find x. So x square is going to be 6 square plus 8 square. s square is going to be, this is 64, um, 36 plus 64. x square is going to be, if you add this, you're going to get 100. x is going to be square root of 100, which is 10. Therefore, our x here, our diameter is 10. Okay? So we're going to say, um, our for our circle, then if diameter is 10, that means our radius, radius is 10 over 2, which is 5. So to get our area of semicircle, we're going to do pi is 22 over 7. That's times, um, our radius is um, 5 square times half. Okay? That's times half. So this is going to be um, this is going to be why we're multiplying by half it's because we are supposed to divide it by two. So you have two options is either you multiply it by half or you divide it by two. Then for our triangle it's going to be half times base times height. Our base is eight and our height it's um, six. Okay? So two here is one 2 in 22 is 11. So this is 11 times 25 over 7 plus this place is going to be 2 years 1, 2 years 4. 4 times 6 is going to give us 24. Okay? So now, to perform um, 11 times 25, so 25 multiplied by 11, let me perform that here. So this is 25 times 11. 1 times 25 is 25, 25. This is going to give us um, 5 plus 2 times 5 is um, 2 plus 5 is 7. So it's 275. So 275 is going to be 275 over 7. So this is um, 275 over 7 over 7 plus 24, 24 over 1. Now 275 over 7, converting it to a proper fraction, is going to be, um, there's, um, how many 7s are in 27s? We have um, 3, so remember there's 6, that's 6, 7 into 65 is going to be, 7 can divide 63, that's 9, remember 2 over 7. So we're going to get um, 39. This is equal to 39, 2 over 7 plus 24. 39 plus 24 is going to give us 39 plus 24. 9 plus 4 is 3, carry 1, that's 63. So our final answer is going to be 63 whole number, 2 over 7. So that's our final answer, and the correct answer here is going to be C. Okay? So that's for this. So now, if you want to stay up to date with us, please subscribe to our youtube channel stay updated with us and you're going to get more videos from us now going to the next question uh please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell okay so um okay um uh, we're going over to question 21 and before i start i'm going to tell you to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can get updated um videos from us now, question 21 says, a cylindrical tank whose diameter is 140 cm has a height of 75 cm. How many liters of water can it hold when full? Now, when you ask questions about um, maybe things like this, just get to understand that if they're asking you how many liters of water it can hold, that's the capacity, which is also the, um, known as the volume. So, it means calculate the volume of the cylindrical tank. Now, because you know that this is a cylinder, you know that the formula for calculating our volume for cylinder, volume is um, pi r squared times h. Okay? So, um, in this question, we've been given the height 
the height at uh, 75 cm and we've been given um, the diameter diameter it's um, 140 cm but mind you we need the radius so the radius is defined as diameter divided by 2 which is um, 140 divided by 2 and that's um, 70 cm so with this we, can, we are good to go I believe we should be able to solve it now so our pi it's um, our volume is going to be 22 over 7 times our radius square which is um, 70 times um, 70 so that's times then our height is 75 cm so 7 here it's going to be 1 and 7 into 70 is going to be 10 so this is going to be 22 times 10 times 70 so this is going to be um, 2 2 times 10 times 70 times 75 okay so this is going to be 22 times 10 is 220 so this is 220 times 70 times 75 so we need to perform this multiplication to get our final answer so i'm going to do 22 times 7 i'll keep my two zeros so 7 times 2 is 14 4 carry 1 7 times 2 is 14 plus 1 that's 15 so it's going to be 154 then i'll put back my two zeros so so this will be zero zero so then to multiply 154 times 75 so i'm going to keep my two zeros five times four is zero carry two five times five is 25 plus two that's seven i'll carry two five times one is five plus two that's seven seven times four is 28 i'll write eight i'll carry two um, 7 times 5 is 35 plus 2, that's 7, that's 7, and I'll carry 3, um, then 7 times 1 is 7 plus 3, that's um, 10. So I'll sum it up, 0, 7 plus 8 is 5, I'll carry 1, then um, I'll have um, 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 1, 15, 5, I'll carry 1, then I'll put my 1. Remember the two zeros in the 154, so I'll put it 0, 0. So my final answer, uh, my final answer is going to be 1, 1, 5, 5, 0, 0, 0. So um, this is going to be comma here, and we have a comma here. So our correct answer from the option, it's uh, A. A is the correct answer here. So that will take us to the next question, okay?